Chesapeake School Board reverses course and reinstates a mask mandate for students. The move comes just weeks after they made masks optional. Parents came out for the meeting, which at times was tense. Allison Basil was there. Yes, tensions flared between parents on both sides of the mass debate before, during and after the school board meeting. Ultimately, the school board decided that students must wear a mask to school starting Monday. It is the parents right for the care of that child. Passionate parents lined up outside for a New Year's Eve school board meeting. That's all you got to say. You don't have any rebuttal. Earlier this month, the Chesapeake School Board voted to make masks optional for students. That didn't sit well with all parents. Your personal choice ends when it impedes on the personal choice and the safety of others. But with COVID-19 cases surging across the region, Board Vice Chair Colleen Leary called a special meeting to discuss the safety measures. A move parents against masking didn't agree with. I would like the option. I would like a medical and religious accommodation forms to go away and I would like the exemption forms to come back. Board members called a closed session at the start of the meeting, which brought more disruption from the crowd. After a private discussion, the board announced students had to wear masks again. We wanted so badly to make it optional, but as we saw the numbers go up, we have the discretion, of course, as the board to make sure that we do what's right for the kids and for our staff. However, the board kept part of the original vote suspending COVID-19 vaccine and student athlete testing requirements. Vice Chair Leary says the board will keep an eye on the data and Governor-elect Glenn Youngkin. We will probably relook at it if the governor changes his mandates, we will go back and look at it, and that will be at our discretion as well. In Chesapeake, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.